Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Garcia. I'm one of the media specialists here at Mill Creek and I wanted to talk to you today about where you can find eBooks. So I know that a lot of people love to read um, regular books so that they can actually hold in their hands and I do too, but sometimes it's really convenient to be able to have an eBook because you can read it on any of your devices, including your phone. So there are three places today that I'm gonna show you um, that you can go to to check out eBooks. The first is from our own school library. So from your eClass homepage, you would click on um, Media Catalog down here, and then you would be prompted to log in at the top. Okay, so you wanna click log in, and you will sign in with your regular eClass username and password. Mine will go automatically, um, but you may have to type yours in. If you scroll to the bottom of our catalog homepage, you will see that there's a whole list of eBooks. Um, we have a collection, we're trying to grow it and add some more to it, um, but we do have a lot of eBooks right now as well. So you can click on see all and see all of the eBooks that we have. And um, believe it or not, if you would like to read the eBook, you do still need to check it out. So for example, if I wanted to read the inheritance games, I would click on the cover of the book and then once it loaded, I would just click check out. And then you would be able to read it on your computer or um, you could read it on any device that you want if you have the Destiny Discover app. When you're done with the ebook, you wanna make sure that you click return. Instead of saying check out, it will say return. And you do still need to return your ebook, okay? If you wanted to get the Destiny Discover app, it is available for iPhones and for Androids. And it looks like this, Destiny Discover, and you just um, download it for free, put in your information, and then you'll be able to read um, eBooks on your phone. Okay, another place you can go to look for eBooks is also available through eClass. It's through our online research library. And a lot of students don't realize that the online research library does have eBooks. Okay, so you would click on online research library. Again, you would need to, prompt, um, to follow the prompt to log in up here at the top and you'll log in with your regular eClass username and password, just like with the media catalog. Once it loads, you're going to click on eBooks on the left-hand side. So these are actually all of our databases for research, but if you would like to see eBooks, you can click right over here on the left, and then it gives you a list of all of the ebooks that we have. Now, we do have a lot of nonfiction ebooks. So if you like nonfiction, you can use this resource. Um, we do also have some fiction um, titles as well. You just have to browse through them. So you can sort our ebooks um, from, you know, alphabetically from A to Z or vice versa, or you could click on newest to see the newest ebooks that we have through the online research library or highest rated to see the ones that have the best ratings you can't just search for an ebook title. That's one of the bad things about the online research library. Don't type in this search bar to look for a title. This is actually for the databases. So you'd have to scroll through um, and look alphabetically for the title of the book that you want. Um, if you come up here to the top though, you can adjust this so that you have more books showing per page and then you have less pages to scroll through. Um, and you can also change the view to make it a tile view and you can see more books at a time that way. Um, I prefer to search this way. Okay, so there are also some eBooks. Some of the classics are on here. If you need to read one for a class, um, you can look through these and see what we have for you. Okay, so that is through the online research library. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was um, that eBooks on, and audiobooks are available through the public library's website and all of you have access to the public library's resources because you are Gwinnett County Public School students. So you would go to gwinnettpl.org, just like I have right here in the um, browser window, and that would take you to the public library's homepage. All of you would click on my account and then you'd be prompted to sign in. Um, just like with the catalog and the online research library, mine will go automatically because I already have an account, but you would need to sign in. Once you click my account, you would use your student ID number as your library card number, and then it would ask you for a PIN or a password, and that would be four digits, and it's your two-digit birth month and two-digit birth day. So my birthday is August 31st, so my PIN or password would be 0831. Okay, so you click my account, log in with your school ID number as your username, and then your birthday as your PIN or password. 
Um, once you're in there and you're logged in, you're going to browse. So you can click on browse and you can choose eBooks or audiobooks. Um, both of them have a pretty wide um, selection available. So I'll just show you eBooks as an example. There we go. And it will pop up with a list of eBooks that they have available. Now this one will let you search by title. So if you'd like to search by the title, you can type up here and then you just look for this little icon to make sure that it's available as an eBook um, or the speaker icon to make sure that it is available as an audiobook if that's what you're looking for. So you can scroll through and just like with our media catalog, you do still have to check out the eBook. So you would click on check out right over here on the right if there is a book that you see you would like. If the book is already um, in use by other people, then you can place a hold on it by clicking place hold and you will get an email notification um, when your hold is ready. So it's really, really user friendly. Um, you do return your book. It, it goes back to the public library um, automatically on your due date and it will remind you beforehand that it's coming due soon and you have opportunities to renew it or to turn it in early. Um, but you do still have to return it even though it's an ebook or an audiobook. You can read these or listen to these on your computer or on any device if you have the app. And so the public library's app is called Libby and it looks like this, Libby by Overdrive. And it's pretty similar to the media catalog app um, called Destiny Discover. So all you need to do is download it. It's free, it's available for Androids and iPhones. And then um, you would go ahead and put in your public library county and information, and then you can read and listen to everything through Libby. Okay, so three places to get information. One is our media catalog under eBooks. The second is the online research library, also under eBooks which we clicked up here on the top left. And then the third one is through the public library and you all have a free account that you can use to access them there. Okay, please come by the Media Center and ask us if you have any questions. We are always available to help you out. Have a good day.